In the heart of South America, deep within the murky waters of the Amazon rainforest slithers a creature, silently moving with the grace of a serpent and the power of a monster. With its immense size and strength hidden from view and a gaze that pierces through the mist, it preys upon the unsuspecting, crushing and choking to death like a demon. A beast of legend and the ultimate predator of its domain, feared and revered by all who dwell in the rainforest. A predator like no other, it rules the jungle with an iron grip, and in the darkness it awaits, ready to strike again. Meet the epic coil of death, the giant green anaconda. Eunectus mudanus, or the green anaconda, is one of the four known species of the genus Eunectes. Being the largest snake on earth, this behemoth of a serpent, also called the giant emerald anaconda, or common water boa, prowls the dense jungles and murky swamps of lands east of the Andes. Its dominion spans several territories, such as Colombia, Venezuela, the Guianas, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Brazil, and the island of Trinidad and even reaches as far as northern Paraguay, ruling over the putrid marshes and slow streams that make up the heart of the tropical rainforest of the Amazon and the Orinoco basins as the unchallenged apex predator of the ecosystem, and is adequately equipped to be called so. The grotesque appearance of this abomination is terrifying enough to ensnare its hapless prey in a state of paralyzing terror. Its coloration features an olive green background, festooned with elegant black splotches, the puny head only highlights the hulking mass of its frame, which is sometimes accentuated by an orange-yellow stripe. However, the terrifying appearance pales in comparison to its sheer size and strength, making it a formidable and deadly predator. An adult of this species can grow up to a spine-chilling 30 feet long. Its girth can expand up to 12 inches, and as it ages, its weight may exceed a ghastly 550 pounds. On the flip side, this deadly snake species is also famous for the most extreme weight and size exaggerations of any living creature, as documented in the Guinness Book of World Records. The reason for this lies within the isolated existence that it has, hidden away in the depths of remote areas where locating, capturing, and retrieving specimens, particularly before they rot away into a mess, proves to be a challenge. To make matters worse, the snake's skin can stretch allowing it to increase in size by over 50% during the tanning process. As a result, reports without physical proof are considered suspect. The longest and heaviest specimen to date, reported to be discovered in Brazil at a construction site, measured a ghastly 33 feet in length and 3 feet in width, weighing in at 880 pounds. However, later on, the site was subjected to controlled explosions for construction purposes in which the snake was killed. Some say that the workers, consumed by their fear, took it upon themselves to slay the beast. Either way, the biggest anaconda ever to be found was snuffed out by human hands. Go figure. Anacondas are the mighty natatorial beasts, which means that being the descendants of the water boa lineage, these creatures have evolved over time to master the art of swimming. While their imposing size may make them look clumsy on land, in water they transform into sleek and stealthy predators capable of reaching blazing speeds of up to 10 miles per hour. The majestic anacondas are predominantly nocturnal and have an exceptional ability to remain submerged for extended periods, making them deadly ambush predators. Their elevated eyes are strategically placed on their heads, enabling them to scan their surroundings while swimming without having to surface and expose their bodies. Like the other of its own genus, the green anaconda is also a non-venomous constrictor capable of crushing the life out of its prey with a monstrous 90 pounds per square inch of force, a pressure that's akin to having the weight of an elephant bear down upon you. As it meticulously wraps its muscular body around its prey, squeezing with incredible force until the bones and organs are ground to a pulp and the flow of blood to the heart is obstructed, leading to suffocation and cardiac arrest. However, the anaconda's hunting prowess doesn't end here. The final act of horror is swallowing the prey whole. Sometimes, while it's still breathing, if the anaconda's suffocating grip didn't take effect. For this task, the jawbones can splay open as they're loosely connected. With this astonishing feature, the anaconda can consume prey far larger than its own head. As it swallows, a specialized windpipe in its mouth ensures that it can still breathe. Moreover, the anaconda's esophagus 
with incredible strength propels the prey forward, as if the serpent were crawling its body over the food. As the prey finally reaches the anaconda's abdominal cavity, the digestion process begins, which may take several days or even weeks to complete. During this, the serpent behaves in a sluggish manner, which is no surprise considering the sheer effort required to break down such a massive amount of food. And it's the liver that shoulders the brunt of the work. This vital organ is the largest within the anaconda's body, and for good reason, because it houses a high enzyme activity that is essential for digesting even the most formidable animal parts. With an insatiable hunger, these masters of the predatory realm feast on an extensive palate of prey, both dead and alive, anything that they can overpower and sink their jaws into. Whether that's fish, amphibians, birds, mammals, or reptiles, these beasts aren't picky. Of course, the size of the boa itself can impact its dietary preferences. For example, the larger anacondas may have substantial choices like tapirs, deer, peccaries, capybaras, jaguars, and even other boas and small water snakes. Juvenile anacondas, on the other hand, have a diet that's comparatively modest. They tend to prey on small birds and young caimans, weighing between 1.4 to 2.4 ounces. As you can see in the video, the serpent glides silently through the leafy waters, stalking its prey with masterful patience. With only its head poking above the surface at intervals, it calculates the distance to its unsuspecting victim, which is the largest rodent on Earth, the capybara. Moments later, the anaconda propels itself under the water, and in a heartbeat it's within striking distance of the capybara, who remains blissfully unaware of the serpentine death that lurks behind. With perfect timing, the anaconda strikes, latching onto its prey with six rows of razor-sharp teeth and coiling around it in a vice-like grip. The anaconda then waits, squeezing its prey until the rodent succumbs to cardiac arrest. With its meal now lifeless, the anaconda proceeds to devour it, crawling its muscular body over the capybara. Being on the top of the food chain, anaconda's remarkable stature makes them almost unbeatable. However, their fearless hunting approach, often taken on much larger prey than themselves, can result in serious injury, or even death. Furthermore, cannibalism is also common amongst them. Females have been known to consume smaller males after mating, for unknown reasons. Speculations do exist, but the exact cause remains a mystery. Despite local legends portraying anacondas as man-eaters, there is little evidence to support such claims. These creatures typically avoid human interaction and are rarely found near residential areas. However, when cornered, their lethal power can result in devastating consequences. To experience how it feels to be eaten alive by a giant anaconda, a 27-year-old naturalist and wildlife filmmaker Paul Rossley daringly allowed a gargantuan anaconda named Chumana to attack him in a groundbreaking experiment, cloaked in a specifically designed suit for his own protection. However, as the snake coiled its massive body around Rosalie, the pressure was too great, causing the suit to constrict and placing the intrepid explorer in perilous danger. Quick thinking and resourceful, Rosalie signaled for his team to rescue him, and the snake was ultimately removed. Despite the valiant efforts of the crew, however, the suit had been irrevocably damaged, and Rosalie sustained painful injuries. The whole encounter was filmed and aired on the Discovery Channel's nature special documentary Eaten Alive on December 7th of 2014. However, anacondas, despite having the ability to overpower a man in 99 out of 100 instances, human emotions such as fear and greed pose the greatest threat to them. Anacondas are frequently killed for their sought-after skin or due to the local population's fear of them. But the situation isn't alarming at all, as the conservation status of the green anaconda is currently listed as a least concerned by the IUCN Red List, which is due in part to the fact that many populations of these snakes reside in protected areas, where they're shielded from human interference. While it's difficult to estimate the size of these populations, their remote locations make them less susceptible to hunting and capture. Moreover, there is a suitable number of new breeds every year, which results in producing 20 to 40 offspring and in some cases even up to 100 offspring from one mother. However, despite their impressive numbers, most of these newborns are at high risk of being devoured by other predators. Because of their diminutive size of 27.5 to 30.5 inches, offering no protection, they receive no parental care too, so they are bone. This is because anacondas lead a solitary lifestyle, except during mating season, naturally, typically from April to May. Males then go on a quest to find a female mate, However, due to fierce competition, it's common for multiple males to compete for a single mate. This competition often results in the formation of bizarre clusters known as breeding balls, 
where up to 12 males wrap around the same female attempting to copulate with her. During this fight to mate, the males use their spurs to stimulate the female, pressing their cloacal regions against her body. As mating approaches its climax, the male's spurs stimulate the females to raise her cloacal region, allowing the two snakes to copulate. The strongest and largest male will often emerge victorious, with the mating process lasting two to four weeks. That's, uh, I don't know about you, but that sounds like a long time to me. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll squeeze you in the next one. That one doesn't even make sense, guys. Come on. Bye.